Hey people, Infrared here, February 3, Argus, Desert Gate, Blue Team. Nerland is a tech marine, starts off in ranged combat, puts out some good damage, can also support with structures and repair. Alongside, Joe Black is a Lord General fighting in ranged combat, begins with a retinue of stormtroopers, really strong defense and support on this guy. And rather than off the Blue Team, Chunky Coats with a commander knob, infiltrating hero that shoots you, stabs you and blows you up. Orky style begins in ranged combat with a twin link shooter, lots of gold bling on this guy here. Red team, Kamikaze Gandhi, looks like they took a while to get going here. And an apothecary, support hero, fighting in melee combat by default begins with a heal and a passive health regeneration aura, some good old blood ravens. Alongside Crazy Chairman 96 with a Ravana Alpha, a tunneling hero with great mobility, powerful offense and a bit of support begins with a ranged weapon. And riding off the teams, Isk Northern and a brother captain, a very durable hero walking through objects and cannot be suppressed with powerful disruption and support. Got some Strat Squad, got some more Stormtroopers, we've got double Termigants in the mid, fighting the guard, double shooters for Chunky Coats, Wild Banner is up, Sentinel up also for Joe Black, those Hormagaunts are going to struggle against this many LAS guns I think if they turn their attention to them, no sign of the ground pound early, those Termigants got torn up, Hormagaunts also got messed up, only lost three models though, looks like the Orcs are coming for a flank, which means Kamikaze is going to need to back away. They can't take 2v1. Ravana Alpha might go down. Burner's already up on the Sluggers here. Gives them a couple of power melee weapons and some more hit points. And of course, fire. Okay. Crazy Chairman got really messed up and he needs to back away now, Kamikaze Gandhi. To that health region aura on those fellas. West side, what's going on? Tech Marine runs away. Tactical Marines run away, but they didn't lose the model. What about the Scouts? They're just hanging out in the middle at the moment. East side, Kamikaze doing the right thing and backing off. Trying to buy time for Crazy Chairman to get back in the field, but they're buying some Warriors and they took a lot of damage there. These guys are not actually reinforcing for some reason. They have plenty of requisition. We've got the customized Storm Bolt up already for the Apothecary. The heal went up on the tax already is it? I guess so and they are power armor elbowing those sluggers pretty nicely almost killed them shows what he can do with tactical marines in melee with some apothecary support and those guys had burners too almost killed them the tax did drop a model once the commando got some shots in those guys hidden by hide the boys global ability of the commando to help them escape I think they were far enough away already though but the captain barely makes it out. Kamikaze Gandhi with Assault Squad on the way. And Nerland with Devastators on the way. Good special attacks. From the Strat Squad in amongst these poor guardsmen here. Nerland is making the way back up the west side. This is nice play from Joe Black to support this side. Otherwise Nerland would have been pushed back to the power most likely. Strat Squad taking a lot of LAS gun fire. We see the Medical Sergeant in the retinue of the Lord General there. You can hand out handy medical packs. Hand them out and they're handy. Here's a warrior brood for Chairman. Power melee squad that provide a basic synapse. Can jump on you and knock you over too. They've found some shooters to run at and intimidate and it made them back off. Looks like Red Team got their natural VP decap there most likely by, was it the Sentinel maybe? Maybe. East side, nobody is interested in the VP. This just break stuff. Former Gaunts have their adrenal glands there for Crazy Chairman Assault Squad jumping in. They found some shooter boys, these fellas, with their big shooters for aiming what's that and more Daka from longer range. A generator has gone up in the mid from Chunky Coats. Barely holding together those orky generators. Sluggers. Are we going to see Crippling Poison? We're not. Did not see it at all from the Termigants. Maybe it was on cooldown. Maybe it was used already. Assassin's Knife on the Commando. Might immediately die though. Also got some stick bombs in. In his backpack. Assault Squad being a nuisance. They can really bully stuff in tier 1. But pathogens are there. Or are they? I think they're going to immediately die here. Yes, they do die. Those guys have power melee, so they could have been a threat to the assault squad. Those attacks got very low. 
The submarines continue to annoy the guards, and by annoy, of course, I mean kill a lot. They did take a ground pound though. West side, what's going on? Nerland has double strat squad to deal with. Devastators lost the model, so did the tactical marines. Not sure how this all happened. I guess the Devastators got flanked. Trying to put down a mine there was Nerland with the Artificer armor. Trying to put one down again. Keeps getting cancelled. I guess it's being... Is it being targeted while it's being built and taken out? I didn't think you could target them. The scouts, I think, will be okay there. Yes, they are. Nobody still capping this VP. Tunis is leaving it to bash power, I guess. VPs are a concern for later in the game in general. We've got tier 2s on the way for Nerland, for Joe, and Kamikaze Gandhi. Sluggers. Do we have a... Nope. No slugger knob queued up. Oh, they haven't gone tier 2 yet, chunky folks. We have knobs on the double shooters though. That was a lot of Daka for the Warrior Brood to deal with. Didn't drop a model. Kamikaze's back here. What are they going to jump? They looks like they're jumping the Orcs. Should be able to do some good work. Sluggers were forced off as well. So they don't have a massive threat. Or maybe the Commander himself will be a big threat to those Assault Marines. With that knife. Jumping back out. Might have to retreat here actually. There's a lot of firepower coming in. 500 to 418. Nope, Assault Squad stay in play. Scout stay in play. Apothecary is back to heal them too. West side. That was the banishment from the Tomes of Titan. Shooting some lightning out their hands all fancy like. What do you think they are? A warlock? Got stomped by the Sentinel. But the captain runs. And the double strike squad run. And there is a mine. Well, two, technically. Puts down two at a time, the Tech Marine. Manticore on the way for Joe Black. Isk Northern does not have a detector on the field, so might have some problems with those mines approaching the power there. Well played again, Joe Black supported the west side, got straight onto the power, but is going to get jumped. There it is. But look at this, all of a sudden, Tech Marine is a offense powerhouse with this plasma gun. Look at the damage. Overcharging for almost 70 DPS plasma. Pretty insane. There's the Salt Squad got chewed up there. There was a bunch of LAS guns going in as well. These guys can also get plasma guns. Purification files and then goes down. Good hit though. Bit of damage. Really slow to react there actually, Joe Black. Decap from Nerland. Now needs to leave though, I think. Yeah. Got some Stone Guard veterans for Kamikaze all the way on this west side now. None of the guards going to wipe, I don't think. Still nobody capping the VP on the east side. Has it been capped once? It must have. Well, not necessarily. They could have got that VP lead because the red one was decapped. Very strange. There hasn't been anything that chatters there about not capping the VP or something. I haven't been paying attention. Tyrant guard on the field for Crazy Chairman. Feel like it's been a long time since I've seen a tyrant guard. So I'm excited to see the big fella. Where is he? There he is. Isn't he adorable? Breaking the tunnels, of course. Always happens. You've got to try and put your tunnels out of the immediate path. Because Carnifexes and Tyrant Guards and stuff will just break it. The Hive Tyrant himself can break it as well, of course, if he's on your team. Oh, here we go. Shooters, I think, are going to cap the VP, are they? Maybe not. They're going for a Power Bash. Is someone going to cap that VP? West side. The Sword Squad jumping in. There's that overcharging tech marine. you got to try and tie this guy up when he's doing that. Just chewing through the strike squad this time. Now he's being tied up. I think it had already ended though. Might go down actually. Yep, goes down. Tax run away. Scouts run away. Devastators run away. Maybe something can run into those mines. So the scouts can't see them either. They don't have their sergeant. Mantigo strike. I mean, it messed up the power. Have a missile launch a Sentinel. Ravenna Alpha levels in the mid, but they regenerate. Still nobody capping that VP for some reason. Very odd. There's some kind of rule that they made up. 
Nobody caps the VP until until we're tier three or something. This could be a messy fight for either team. Looks like the red team are going to come out on top, but there's a creeping barrage. I don't think the Sentinel's going to get away. No. Nope. Stone Guard using the Vengeance rounds for some reason. They should be using Kraken bolts against the Sentinel. Or oh, maybe they were, they were looking to go after the Manticore. There we go. Kraken bolts are in. Good versus heroes and heavy infantry, which is what the Sentinel is. Vengeance rounds are for vehicles and super heavy infantry. Sneaky Commando still hasn't capped the West, the Eastern VP. Definitely something odd going on. Joe Black down to just two units. Former Gunts are going to wipe, and they do. Mantigor Strike on the VP almost wipes out the Warrior Brood. They have the Thorax Swarm. 494 to 418. This is uh, Kamikaze having to get their power back. Orcs on a rampage in the mid. Pirate Guard is still there though. And here comes the double strike squad to chew through the sluggers. They got messed up and they died in fact. Here's some Daka now. Pirate Guard going after him. Was that a charge? Like a messed up charge or was that just these melee? He's a melee charge. Tactical Marines here with a plasma gun. Got some stormtroopers for Joe Black. Help him recover. And melter guns are in. But the captain might die. Does die. Commando also goes down. This strike squad is kind of mangled here. It's going to drop models soon to plasma guns. Yep. Kraken bolts popped for the tactical marines as well. And there is. And they shall know no fear. And they're certainly not fearful of a strike squad when this is active. You see that 50% chance to knock back on melee attack. Wasn't that nerfed actually? Was that nerfed to like 30% or something? Not sure. I vaguely remember there's something like that going on. The commander goes down again. Oh hey, look at this. Kamikaze has capped the Eastern VP and no idea why Chunky Coats did not cap it. Massive misplay unless something else is going on. That was a solid hit from the Manticore. Gets healed off by the Apothecary though. All that damage goes away. Tier 3 for everyone but Crazy Chairman here. No Tier 3 units yet though. Kamikaze getting some more Tactical Marines. Not exactly sure where they lost theirs actually. Oh well, Nerland going to go for a Power Bash? Nope. Turn to engage some Tumigants. Those tacks are really low. Going to see a Retreat Grenade here. Go on Nerland. There it is. It's a good one. It's a really good one. Holy crap. That was five kills, I think. Well played, Nolan. Chunky Coats. Blob capping the wreck point back. Well, they're just staying nearby to look after it, I think. Not strictly a blob cap. They're just behind cover really close to the wreck point. Crazy Chairman now goes tier three. Chunky Coats with flash kits on the way. They are down to just double shooters, though. Completely skipped tier two. So did Nerland, I think. Aside from the war gear. Kamikaze also skipped tier 2, I believe. Unless there were some units I didn't see, which does happen. Looks like the blue team, though, are going to retake the east side. Purification files didn't hit. And the orcs are taking back the VP. They're onto the power as well. In the mid, Nerland's capping things up. Cleaning things up. Got Devastators ready. Can they find a way around them? Sneaky scouts getting some vision. Maybe come out of the sneak with a grenade as well. Is that a creeping barrage? It is a creeping barrage. Could have been a great setup for a grenade, the barrage, if they knew it was coming. Big old retreat there. To maybe get this western contested power back. Who's that down? Oh, the commando fell over again. We've got some terminators though. For Kamikaze Gandhi with an assault cannon on the way. Nerland with a land raider redeemer on the way. And Ravana Alpha has his own very scary plasma weapon, the corrosive devourer. The strength in the sinew too. Nice and quick. Looks like 
the red team are taking the east side back. 406 to 400. Radiant incoming, says Nerland. Will they take it to the east side? Isk Northern with a land raider of their own, but it's the Crusader. Not quite as great support as the Redeemer. It does have a lot of bolt guns, which is fun. The Tyrant Guard is still around. Manticore Strike, though. Terminator teleporting out. And the tax kind of got away. We've only taken a single hit, and it's all healed off by the Apothecary. Flash Kit's got one blast with their blasters, and they were persuaded to leave by a pissed off Tyrant Guard. The yeah, Orc's getting messed up here. Can the Tyrant Guard get to them? No, I don't think so. They're on the power. Commando has switched to the rocket launcher. Bane Blade on the way for Joe Black. We're going to see some super heavy stuff. There is a land where they're going to go. Sticking to the west side for now. He might keep it more central. Tax hit level 3. Tech Marine hits level 4. He gets very scary at high levels with this plasma gun. Tax turn to engage, knowing that they have and they should know no fear. There's that shotgun blast. Got the captain with the unending purge. This was buffed a little bit. I think it used to be 0.85%, now it's 1.15%. Holy Armor of Titan 2. The Venerable Dreadnought drops in by Nerland. And a Nemesis Four Sword for his brother Captain. Awesome stuff. Unique to the Tech Marine. Immediately gets the Dark Age of Technology 2. Which is expensive. And it gives it 300 more hit points. Takes it over 2000 at level 1. Going to be an easy power bash. Commando is very confused by these power. Are you going to shoot them? There we go. There he goes. Meanwhile... Is that a full retinue? It's a full retinue for the Lord General. Awesome. Got stabilizers too. That shield is given to him by the Commissar. Retinue member. Terminator's getting messed up by a Manticore strike. Almost wiped in fact. The Stern Guard barely get away. Gonna get a full bash. And maybe cap the VP. They're still not capping it. Blue team are being weird with the VP over there. Not sure what the what the deal is on that side. Land Raider of Nolan now in the mid, 357-375. Iron Guard limps away, but will survive. They're still not grabbing this VP. Very strange. Very confused about why they're not grabbing that. Here's your Bane Blade, that is from Joe Black of course, Manticore's almost leveled up, does not have the Storm Eagle. Which is very much a luxury purchase for this thing I think. Here comes the Carnifex, the first one we've seen. And the Stranglethorn Cannon, hey they renamed it, awesome. On the way. Awesome weapon. Supported by this big old Land Raider 2. Is this Land Raider Redeemer too far up? Blue Team have now taken the Eastern VP finally. Land Raider on Land Raider action. Venerable Dreadnought going in. Here come some Orcs. Flash gets with Blasters too. Manticore hits nothing. Terminators for Nolan now too. Grey Knight sent packing. Not grey enough, fellas. Looks like that Strat Squad has made it out, maybe. Venerable Dreadnought, oh, doesn't hit them. Red Team really up against it now. But they're in Tier 3. Plenty of red as well, they could drop some nukes and stuff maybe. Venerable Dreadnoughts lost oh, a bunch of health. Tyrant Guard took some chunks off it there. Look at the blasters though against that Tyrant Guard who's a Toronto formation from Crazy Chairman. It's not going to do a massive amount against the Land Raider. The Orbital Bombardment will though from Kamikaze here. Oh, it could be from. It could be from Isk Northern. I think it was actually from Isk Northern. Wasn't the best hit. Did not go for the Land Raider, I don't think. Went for the infantry around it. Look at the map, though. The map is so blue right now. Got some Kashikin on the field for Joe Black. There's that Frag Assault. 
Where is the AV for this Land Raider? Rock's dropped in by a chunky coat. It's got a weird boy up. There's two here, says Crazy Chairman. Where's the Bane Blade got? Oh, it's over here. Got some Vanguard veterans now for Kamikaze. No son of the Thunderhammer, though. Of the uh, Power Fist, sorry. The scout's got a grenade, this Bane Blade. Why are they getting so close? Just keeping an eye on things. Terminators quite rightly trying to get into melee with the Bane Blade here. One of its big weaknesses is heavy melee units getting on it. Vanguard veterans jumping back. Cash the King getting smacked around now. These guys being suppressed by the heavy bolters on the Bane Blade. I don't know why the Apothecary is meleeing the Bane Blade as well. They're all just going for it. Oh, there we go. Power Fist is now up on the Vanguard veterans. A lot of Power Fists all of a sudden. They did a lot of damage to it. It might be able to get away though. What's going on here? Not a lot. Double cap for blue team. Manticore is still hanging out. Can they get it? Is the Apothecary... Oh, Apothecary is capping. Fair enough. Doesn't look like the Bane Blade is going to get help. It stopped moving for a while. It's going to go down. I guess I didn't think it could get away, so just like sit and do as much damage as possible. Two to one cap. Now they got a lot of VPs to make up the red team. I mean that's a victory, but was it a big enough of a victory to get the Bane Blade then? But the captain goes in. He's got his Nemesis Demon Hammer now. It's not a power weapon. It does a lot of damage. Current guard is getting messed up, even at level 3. Those flash kits really mess it up. Got a Venom Brood as well, and there's an Orbital again. This time, I think, from Kamikaze. Some decent hits. Terminators will take a lot, bunch of damage from that because they can't retreat. Big hits. Venerable is on the land raider and it's been repaired with the global repair and the tech moon until he retreated back to the land raider of his own here comes kamikaze with all those power fists manticore strike was a good attempt to try and help it out but i think nerland's land raider has had it it was really far forward kind of asking to be flanked here down it goes they got it have Red Team turn the corner? They might have. Bane Blade down, Land Red Redeemer down. And Crazy Chairman hasn't lost any of its stuff. Hasn't lost its Khan effect. The Venom Brood is still up, the Land Red Crusader is still up. This Northern can try and get Paladins or something. Kamikaze putting in some good power fist work here. They've got the Eastern VP already. They're getting a the natural back. Get a quick oh this is already decapped it. Commando barely made it out. Lord General should be okay since he dies last. His retinue whacked out though. Crazy Chairman most likely saving up for another Carnifix. No, it's a it's a lictor on the way to help with capping and stuff. We might want to grab that wreck point back on the east side too. Stone Guard should be capping. There we go. They are indeed capping. Lots of repairs for the level 2 Venerable Dreadnought. Up to 2225 hit points to level 2. Pretty nuts. We are losing a requisition point to the enemy. Triple cap for Red Team. Another Bane Blade. We've got a Knob Squad and a Predator Tank. The Blue Team are not out of this yet. Termigants are indeed capping here. Well done, Crazy Chairman. They could also decap this right here. Yeah, looks like they're all busy repairing. Kamikaze does not want to overextend here. Lost the Terminator. Need to back away. Blasters. Double flash kit blasters you do not mess around with. Ouch. Rocket run. The second run didn't hit much though. Stayed in that way too long. They can reinforce off the Land Raider uh, Crusader, that's right. If they have the resources for it, that is. 
can the blue team get around this and get onto the east side or something? Manticore's on the land. Red seems to shrug it off. Paladins are in from Isk Northern as well. More gems on the mid. Here comes that venerable dreadnought that's leveled up to three, I think. Which is awesome. Yep, 24, 17 hit points now. Tank is getting shots in. It might get the last cannons to go after that land raider. Nob squad on the way. These guys can make a big difference. Don't have their knob leader. Don't have their hammers, but they have mean and green up. And they're very mean and very green. Bane blade fire support. Techno needs to be very careful here. Need to try and keep that guy in play so that he can prepare stuff. Terminators barely making it out though. They're gonna go down, I think. Oh, maybe not. They got down to a single hit point, but they have made it out. Carnifex goes down. Still with the triple cap though for the red team. Here's the Manticore strike. Looks like it's on the VP. I thought it was gonna go for the Land Raider. Venerable versus a brother captain there. Brother captain popping immortality. I'm not sure why he's trying to fight the Dreadnought. Should have been on those flash pits or something. Nob's getting suppressed. All the tool doesn't hit much back there. Still the triple cap though. Where is that lifter? It's on the west side capping stuff. The monster cannon turning some things into mist, which is always fun. Venerable is still around. Is it level to four? Not yet. There's a rocks. Was it a rocks? Oh, it was a it was a foot of gork, not a rocks. It was a foot of gork from the weird boy. They have messed up the land raider quite a lot. The current guard finally falls over there. 30 to 53 on the VPs. Blue team have the east side back though. But they've decapped it. Land Raider Crusader is still around. No, it isn't. As soon as I said that, last cannon tank takes it out. And the blue team push back. Did the red team overcommit to that? Vanguard veterans getting messed up on the tree with mark target on them, grenade attempt. Nice attempt, didn't quite pull it off. Need to really try and hold their VPs, but it's gonna to be tough. 29 to 44. Sneaky Lictor got a decap on the VP there. Scouts are on it. And Merlin. Venerable did hit level four. Awesome. Got some Kasukin over here. Sneaky Scouts and the Sneaky Lictor. Kasukin do have their Sergeant as well. They're gonna shoot the crap out of the Lictor, I guess, when he gets revealed. Maybe. There we go. They're gonna grenade him too. Didn't knock him off the cat. They didn't mess him up. In the mid, blue team push back. Blue team have the momentum. Disc Northern losing the Land Raider and the Paladins. And they don't have the requisition to get anything real nice. We do have a Swarm Lord on the way for Crazy Chairman. It might be too little too late. Well, red team are back on the east side. Here's some commandos called in for by Chunky Coats. There's Love the Backup. Brother Captain not impressed. Big swing and a miss though. Salt Cannon Terminator is messing them up. But here comes a Nob Squad. And they are now fully upgraded. Vanguard veterans very bravely jumping into a Nob Squad who seem to ignore them. I'm not sure what they're doing. Nob Squad seem to just wander off there. Commando in amongst some Terminators with that knife. Doing some good work. Making them teleport out. What is this? This is Nerland's Terminators. Taking out some Strat Squad, getting the VP. 29 to 39 is very, very close. Weird boy knocking back everything. Is that a brother captain in there? Yep. Still going. Level 5, doing some really good disruption actually but eventually falls. And here's your orbital. 
I think from Iskenorden, who has only strike squad on the field, 26 to 38. What is going on in the mid? Blue team still pushing the power. The orbital is going to knock the the Lord General off the cap there. Bane blade number two. Is this number two? I think it's number two. It's pretty far forward, but it's doing okay so far. Swarm Lord is already beaten up. Vanguard veterans jump the tech marine to smart because of that plasma gun. Oh, then they then they leave him alone. Go after the tank, which I guess is also a decent target for those guys. Shotgun blast and there's a venerable dreadnought right there though. 18 to 28 double cap for blue. Can they get the triple? Swarm Lord goes down. They can get the triple. Blue team with the triple cap. I think they've got this now. I think they've got this. What a back and forth. This Northern just kind of ran out of steam right at the end there. Did have Terminators on the way, but it's too little, too late, and there it is. Hell of a game. Nurland at a level 10 Tech Marine. Check him out at twitch.tv slash Nurland. Joe Black with level 10 Lord General. Didn't quite get all of his retinue back, but he's got his Vox fella and his Commissar. Not sure what the deal was with the teams seemingly, especially the blue team, not capping this VP earlier on. Chunky Coats Commando, level 6, with a Mega Boom Kit. Maybe they were talking about it in chat, I don't know. Level 7 Apothecary. He had a level 6 Ravenna Alpha. And a level 5 Brother Captain did some good work at the end, this fella. It was really fun seeing a level 4 Venerable at the end, too. And that Tyrant Guard did some really good work as well. Surprised we didn't see another Carnifex a little bit earlier from Crazy Chairman. I guess the Lictor did some good work, though. Did the Nob Squad get levels? No, they didn't. Flash gets got level 3. Well, there you have it. It was a crazy one. I'm sure I missed tons of stuff. But thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.